Last night was pretty scary to watch for you. What? In the Mavs. Oh, the, the Mavs. Oh, Mavs what do we need? You already recapped it the, so beautifully. The, Why do we even need to talk about it? <laughs> Look at the 17 over the 17 over run what yeah. the, the 17 over run was super hard to watch I, sit next to you yeah it I was, was uh, actually got really scared to record some content for the show did you record any content? I, I didn't Thank I you. was afraid you'd kick me out of the house yeah uh-huh. um yeah so you're obviously not too stoked about it and you say that it's you probably say it's gonna go to game seven at this point but you know the Mavs have been getting destroyed in Phoenix and that's yeah. where game seven would be yep so why can they win game seven? Exactly. Here's why they can win game seven. They're going to win game six. I, I believe they're going to win back in Dallas. And then it's game seven. And then all the pressure in the world is not on Dallas. It's on Phoenix. For Chris Paul, this is last real shot of the title. Yeah. Devin Booker, and I don't know if we're going to get to it, but he's doing a whole lot of shit talking that I think is going to be that. Didn't age well last time. Didn't, didn't age well last time. Luka won the next two. And I think the Mavs are the best player in the series. Best player in the series, have it come down to one game. It's no problem. Here's the thing the Mavs must understand before we move on. They must understand if you're going to beat the Suns, you cannot beat them if you don't have a lead after three quarters. The Suns are 53-0 and when leading after the third quarter. So you have to treat it like a three-quarter game. You must be winning after the third quarter and then find a way to finish it off because not a single team all year long has been trailing the Suns by even one point headed into the fourth and won the game. That's a crazy stat. It's right a crazy there. stat. The, old, the best teams in NBA history when leading after three quarters, the 96 Bulls, the 72 win Bulls were 60 something and one when leading after three quarters, playoffs included. The 2018 Cavs were 54, 55 and one. That was LeBron with no teammates really at the apex of his powers. The 2020 Lakers are, were 57 and 0, another LeBron team. They never lost a single game all year when leading after three quarters. And the Suns right now are 53-0. and Are we going to do the Devin Booker thing? Yeah, so did you see Devin Booker talking crap to you, guy, Luca? I did. And if people didn't see it, this is where I'm saying he might, this, he's going to have a little extra pressure on him. I think we can run some of the footage. So Devin Booker got fouled in the third quarter and flopped. First of all, they called this a flagrant foul. And the, but you see, he flopped like a fish on the ground. And then he's laying on the ground. He's smiling. He's acting like he got hurt, which is smart, I guess, because it led to a flagrant foul. But then he says to the crowd, I'm pulling a Luca. I'm doing the Luca. Oh, that's what he said? That's what he said to the crowd, saying like exaggerating injury. That is not what, listen, Luca has some things. I understand people not like him. He whines incessantly. He is a trash talker. He sometimes looks uh, uninterested in defense. Those are fair criticism. He doesn't flop, though. He absolutely does not flop. Yeah. And he does not pretend to get hurt. Right. It's a lie. And so the point I'm making about the pressure being on the Suns is this. If Dallas, he called it the Lucas special is what he called it. If Dallas wins game six, which I believe they will, now all of a sudden Chris Paul has massive pressure on him because it's probably the last chance to win a title. And Devin Booker's got to know. You pull that shit and then lose two in a row to a four seed, that's going to follow you for a while. So I, I still like Dallas's chances. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.